yo A fraction's a whole number over another Just do the division to get the decimal number A decimal's the one with the point to remember And if out of a hundred a percentage is better So all we're doing is assessing our proportions Like one half and two quarters are equally important And three over five is like six over ten Which is also point six or even sixty percent A fraction's a whole number over another Just do the division to get the decimal number A decimal's the one with the point to remember And if out of a hundred a percentage is better So all we're doing is assessing our proportions Like one half and two quarters are equally important And three over five is like six over ten Which is also point six or even sixty percent if you're looking at a fraction and want to get decimal, getting to the point isn't really too technical. So let's start by giving three fifths a try. It's like saying three that's divided by five. Now five don't really go into three, but if you tried 30, it'd be easier to see. And now that we know the main number that fits, divide it again to get 0.6. To get from a decimal over to percentage, multiply it up by 100 to get it. So if you start with a 0.46, move the numbers two to the left, 46. From decimal to percentage it was multiplied But to go the other way then we must divide If you ever get a moment when you can't decide For percentage to decimal you just divide a fraction's a whole number over another Just do the division to get the decimal number A decimal's the one with the point to remember And if out of a hundred a percentage is better So all we're doing is assessing our proportions Like one half and two quarters are equally important And three over five is like six over ten Which is also point six or even sixty percent now to go from the decimals to the fractions, put the number over tens, hundreds or thousands. Say for instance we took 0.6, ignore the decimal and leave the number, that's it. And if you're only left with one number at the end, you're gonna have to then divide the number by 10. The top and bottom may be divisible by the same thing, so like here we use 2 to finish up with 3 fifths. Now let's tackle 0 0.61, ignore the decimal to leave 61. To the right of the decimal we had two numbers, so now we're gonna put them over 100. Now we got the top and bottom one covered His name as a fraction is 61 hundredths With no numbers that can go into both It won't cancel down and that's the end of the road a fraction's a whole number over another Just do the division to get the decimal number A decimal's the one with the point to remember And if out of a hundred the percentage is better So all we're doing is assessing our proportions Like one half and two quarters are equally important And three over five is like six over ten Which is also point six or even sixty percent